Is pizza the new cookie? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Uh, 2017 has been a year just full of divisive, intense debate about very important issues. Mm -hmm. And we've been very wary, you know, about wading into these this controversy. But uh, something has happened and we just feel like we can't stay out of this. And that thing is pizza milk. Yes, um, the, this the, this is a big deal. Uh, yes. We 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 have to talk about it. Uh, it all started off with a tweet uh, back on March fourth. Uh, Hyrule citizen, known as Miriam, uh, <laughs> posted this declaration on Twitter: "Pizza plus milk is way better than pineapple pizza," which in and of itself is an internet controversy. Should right. pineapple be on pizza? Suddenly, well, but we're not going to weigh in on that one. Uh, this shizzle. Bomb AF. <laughs> okay. Okay, symbol. And then she has a picture of a slice of cold pepperoni pizza taking a dive into some milk. I now, think that's 2%. Don't know for sure. And this started a firestorm so much so that she, she got interviewed by the BuzzFeed. Uh, and she, she defended her choice. She said, milk and cheese are in the same category, whereas pineapples and cheese are in complete opposites. Uh, yes, you are right. Uh, that seems Miriam. like logic. They're both in the dairy. They're both in the dairy section, uh, milk and cheese. But um, she made a few observations. It's it's not hot pizza. It's cold pizza. Uh -huh, yeah. Both of them have to be cold. The pizza and the milk. And she said, make sure there's not too much tomato sauce. So we have that here. <sighs> um, Why are we doing this? Well, because a lot of people on the internet are saying that it's gross. It's heinous. It's, yes. The internet hasn't people, responded well to this People are justifi all. justifiably Just upset. Justifyingly. <laughs> justifiably There's justification upset. flying all over the place. But, but I mean, when something is uh, perpeted to be gross, that means we have to do it. You can't take people's words for things. You have to try it yourself, kids. <laughs> so I might have been marinating for uh, a couple of seconds. And I love cold pizza almost better than hot pizza. So I'm legitimately hopeful about this. Okay, here we go. I mean, the thing about cold pizza is that it doesn't act as much like a sponge, at least not the first bite. Listen, the pizza was already good. Mm -hmm. The pizza by itself was good. The milk seems like something like I was reaching for something else and accidentally put in my milk, and that was that. It's, it's not. I don't think it's a, an improvement. It's soggier than it was already. Um, I mean, you can see I'm still eating because I really like pizza. <laughs> I mean, you want to give it a, a, a good chance, but it sounds like you're not with it. I, on the other it's hand, not super, have, have no problem with it. It's not super gross, but do it without the do it without dipping for a second. Just like, eat it without dipping. Just drink milk. No, the pizza. That's the part that you like, man. It's not the milk. The milk is just it, it's a dairy overload. This is what I think is happening here. I think that Hyrule citizen Miriam may have. Uh, Almost gotten to something beautiful. Uh -huh. So maybe the idea of dipping milk in pizza isn't isn't the greatest idea. Maybe it's just dipping milk into a beverage. That's what she was on to. We've got to figure out what the trend should actually be. Okay. And let's start with um, milk shakes. Yeah. <laughs> because, you know, why wait for dessert when it can be on your pizza? I think I already oh and see now that that there's an immediate difference. Look at that. I know where the dip happened. You see that? <laughs> yeah, from there to there. Right. Makes it colder. Now I clearly tasted the creaminess of the, the ice cream and the whipped cream. It's not bad at all. I'm, I'm liking it, man. I like the milk, I'm liking this even more. It's an efficient delivery this of- This is better than milk. Def it's, both phases of it, the meal. It's definitely better than milk. Drink, food, and desserts. The it, three it, food groups. It still feels like it's, there's something potentially morally wrong about it. I just feel like it's taking advantage of, I think dairy should be done in small dollops. I don't think it should be done in overwhelming amounts. Maybe I'm much more of a dairy man than you are. Maybe well, that's what I, you we're know discovering. what, I have taken dairy out of my life. That's true. Um, we gonna go with some coffee next? Okay, we I'm can going do that. with some coffee. The pizza's cold, the coffee's hot. Maybe we'll uh, achieve like a nice medium here. Lukewarm, coffee-drenched pizza. Some, something's, oh, hold on, look, something's happening. 
it seems like you it's see, cooking it. Yes, yeah, cooking. Is it, it recooking the pizza? It's coffee cooked pizza. <laughs> <laughs> well, let, let's taste it before we get too excited. Yeah. Uh, uh-uh. No, you don't like That's, that. I don't like it when it gets hot again. That's the part that I liked. It was like no. sticking it into the sticking it into a little toaster filled with <laughs> liquid. No. You don't like that? No, I'm not even going to eat this that. This is the piece. first sign of promise for me. Really? Well, we're, we're really diverging here. We're different people, right? This might be the end, man. <laughs> this is the show that ended everything. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't agree. That is that is sad, but okay. maybe true. Now, Let, this let's is move. one that'll catch on at parties all around Los Angeles. Because Los Angeles parties serve nothing but LaCroix. This is grapefruit LaCroix. We had some some uh, some different, some people over at my house this uh, past weekend. <laughs> some different people. Some different people, <laughs> very different. <laughs> and a few people that brought their kids. And I had a LaCroix and I was, and I said, uh, could you give me a LaCroix out of there? I said, to lock. And she, and the little girl looked at me and she was like, it's LaCroix. And I was like, listen here, little girl, it's not, <laughs> it is not La Croix. Your parents told you that because they want you to seem cool, but it's La Croix and it's like made in the Midwest and it's from the 80s. Yeah. And you're, like, you're not in France anymore, <laughs> little girl. And it never was. Yeah. Ooh, effervescent. Nah, yeah, I like what's, I like it when there seems to be an, a, re, a reaction yeah, of some kind. It's cooking it too. Oh. Oh, that's bad. Not good. No, okay. All right. I... Well, you know what? I think we should try apple cider vinegar. Oh, really? Because in, in small what? doses, I've got don't one drink all here. this. It's good for digestion or something. And it's and this is very acidic, because so this might do, I see how I'm going back to new pieces every time. You, you can piece. feel free to do that too. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Drop one on the floor. Okay, so. I thought it might bubble, but the LaCroix made it bubble, but this doesn't. Well, it's not baking soda. I mean, if this was balsamic oh, vinaigrette, we might have been on to something, but. This is gonna be strong. Oh. Mm. We just give it, oh, oh. let it settle. Let that initial intensity pass. Oh, okay, it's passing, but. Man, you, you know the bite you would normally get from the pepperoni on like a really spicy pepperoni on a pizza? It's even more. It's like it's given that to just a normal pizza. No, I like I I I, I kind of like this. I don't like the initial bite, but I like the aftertaste. Yeah, like if you if you just give it like a little dance on the top of the vinegar instead of like a full dip, then I think we may be onto something. It's about proportions. Big bite, little vinegar. Okay, that could happen. I'm gonna tweet about that later. I'm gonna I'm gonna tweet af that whatever that means. <laughs> not what you think it means. Um, this is not a strawberry milkshake. This is Pepto Bismol because after a late night when you eat you eat too much pizza, this is the this is the one that serves a practical purpose. You should go. You're coating it with a protective coating that will then help with the digestive process. Yes, you know prevents diarrhea, bloating. What else does it say on the package? Nausea, like sub, heartburn, subpar life performance. Yeah, um, and it has a tangy taste. I've always liked. I've always, I've always liked the taste of it. I mean, I, I I've, I've, I've drunk whole bottles before when I felt really horrible. Do you see, it turns the back of your tongue black. Ew. You notice? Have you and, seen that before? And your like when you take a lot of Pepto. Here we go, guys. A little overwhelming. Maybe if the vinegar was on it too. <laughs> no, mm, it's not. It's not good. Yeah, it compromised the pizza experience a little bit for me. But my stomach may thank me later. I think the thing that I've learned is that I really like pizza. I don't necessarily think it needs to be dipped in any liquid. It's hard to hurt pizza. That's what we've learned today. Uh, let us know what you dip yours in in the comments below. Thanks for liking and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, this is Sonia from Vienna, Austria, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Our podcast, Ear Biscuits, is now in video form, but if you're driving in a car or working out or squirrel suit diving, you need the audio version, and that is available at SoundCloud and iTunes. Links are in the description. Leave us a review or a comment over there. That's helpful. And click through to Good Mythical More. We're going to make a smoothie out of pizza. It's a pizza smoothie. Gift to Cality. That means we're donating $1,000 to the National Alliance to End Homelessness to help them in their mission to prevent and eventually end homelessness, please join us in giving at inhomelessness.org.
Org. Thanks for joining us in doing that. Yes. Click on the left to watch our show after the show, Good Mythical More. Click on the right to watch another episode of Good Mythical Morning. And make sure to check out our new channel, This is Mythical, by clicking the video at the bottom. Thanks for being your mythical best.